call an ex-lover and ask what went wrong? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't really talk to him that much anymore. Uh, just with a lot of stuff that went down. Heart's beating fast. This is not gonna go well. Call one of your exes. I only have one. You gotta call. I haven't spoken to him since. <laughs> Who's the one you're most nervous to call? I have one that I like call the one that got away. Why are they what, the one that got away? He won't let me love him. It's the not reciprocated feelings that it's just like, that's the one I want. We dated when I was maybe 19. I haven't talked to him in a long time, so we'll see if he answers. Oh my God. If he answers, it's gonna be so weird. Cause that was a secret. His parents are just very, very strict people. He would like leave work to hang out with me. So let's see. Hello? Hey Sig. Hey. I had to call an ex and ask what you think went wrong with our relationship. <laughs> Sorry uh, to put you on the spot. No, I'd say <laughs> um, the fact that I was moving away for school. <laughs> Yeah. I think it was like my visa situation because if I had the opportunity to stay here, I think we would be something else. Yeah. Do you know that I consider you for me the one that got away? Really? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I appreciate it. Damn, that's, I mean, that's kind of a big drop. Do you ever think about me? Yeah, I mean, you come up sometimes. I love thinking about those memories. I love seeing the pictures. Like the wedding we had gone to. Yeah. All that stuff and the road trip to Portland. And I don't regret any of it. Do you still find me attractive? Yes. Do you still find me attractive? Oh. Of course. Are you still seeing that gar the girl? Um, we had just broke up yesterday. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Would you ever consider getting back together? I mean, like, yeah, we like met up again, like talked. Like, I haven't dated anybody since. Really? Yeah, I mean, I definitely would. You were lit. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. I would too. Would you consider taking me on a date? It could be arranged, potentially, huh? All right, bye, Annie. He's still into you. Yeah. Call an ex-lover and ask what went wrong. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh. This is not gonna go well. Might just go straight to voicemail. <laughs> Hello? Kiana, I have to ask you a question. What? Why didn't it work out between us? Because you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> is that, okay, do you care to you care to go into that a little bit more? You bit off more than you could chew. How about that one? I did. You talked a good one, and uh -huh. then when the follow through came up, you were like, you know how the DJ scratches the record? Yeah, I mean that's what I saw when I looked at my bank account. It says, <laughs> 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 I said, I bit off more than I could chew. Good God, this girl wants how much money from me? Why did things not work out between us? Um. Why do you solve my phone number? I just, uh, I didn't delete it. Yeah, go ahead and do that. What do you want to know my situation for? Are you trying to get back with me? I came into some money, and I think I might be able to afford to hang out with you. <laughs> I swear, if you were here in my face, I would punch the shit out of you and then leave. Bye. Bye, have a good life. Ah! $700 date. Call an ex lover and say what went wrong. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I'll call my ex husband. He was my high school sweetheart. We have two kids. Hello. Hello. What's up? Where are you at? Are you at work? I'm at work. I want to get your take on, on what went wrong with, with us. Uh, we grew apart. You know, me going into the military. It was like a big change in between both our worlds that I don't think either one of us kind of talked about. And it was one of those, 
harder things to accept in our lives, especially with having kids. Do you still love me? Of course, I'll always have love for you. Let's call an ex. I don't have any of my ex's numbers on my phone. I usually delete them. What about Facebook? I wouldn't want to talk to that ex. It was a while ago and I've changed a lot and she's kind of a bitch now. But knowing all of that, you could just like take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, that's true. How do you know this person? We met through church. Are you nervous? Yeah, I don't really talk to him that much anymore. Uh, just with a lot of stuff that went down. Hey, um, so what do you think went wrong with our relationship? <laughs> you cheated? Like, and lied about it? Barely. I personally don't think that either of us cared about one another that much. We just wanted to do stuff that we should be doing. I don't think I ever had like romantic emotional feelings. See, I was the other way. Yeah. See, I did, I did like you, so. I'm supposed to call an ex and ask what went wrong. Okay, this is gonna be really hard to take. Are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. I'm super gay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. All right, I'll see you Sunday. I never actually cheated. Why did she think you cheated? Um, prob I did try. I did try and cheat, or did try to cheat a few times, but I never could. Which ex are you thinking of? His name is Brent. I, I knew that he didn't want any more kids, and I learned that that was important to me. It was hard being with him and his daughter sometimes because I, I felt like an outsider. Heart's beating fast. This is Brent. Hey, Brent, it's Colleen. Hey, how's it going? Good. I was wondering, in, in your words, what happened to, to end us? I'm sorry, what happened to what? What happened between us? Why why did it end? You caught me off guard with this. I was such an idiot. So, I mean, yeah, my head was like in all kinds of places. And I think that damaged a lot of my relationships with friends and family and, you know, past partners. So, um, yeah. I think the downfall was probably not sticking up for you and I, I should have. Not once across my friends and have a confrontation. I feel like on my end, I probably put a lot of expectations on you when you had a lot going on. So it's not all on you, it's also on me. No, thank you. That's, um, you're just doing so much better now. And like, like both of us, I just think just after a couple of big <laughs> I changes. I think so too. Uh, I think I caught you off guard and realized you didn't want any more kiddos. And sometimes with Ellie and you, I felt like an outsider. Um, but oh, yeah. overall, I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. <laughs> I'm happy we're still friends. I'll let you go. I actually am pretty surprised that he gave that answer. The fact that a year later he remembers that and knows that that's something that bothered me, like that kind of means a lot to me, so. That was very weird. I haven't, I don't know the last time I heard his voice. I think that was really good. It was a little nerve wracking just because this past year I've been like realizing a lot of bad things that happened in that relationship. And a part of healing was not talking to him or interacting with him a lot. So that was the first time I've ever talked to him, like, one-on-one. -on -one. I think it was good to kind of, like, be thrown into it in a way. <laughs>